Welcome to a lesson on the properties of trees. Let's begin with a review. A graph is connected if we can get from any vertex to any other vertex by following some path of edges. A graph that is not connected or disconnected can be thought of as two separate graphs drawn close together. This means there must be at least two vertices for which there is no path to get from one vertex to the other if the graph is disconnected. A cycle is a path that starts and stops at the same vertex. And now to find a tree in a forest. A tree is a connected graph containing no cycles. A graph containing no cycles is acyclic. A forest is a disconnected graph containing no cycles. A forest is a disjoint collection of trees. And now take a look at the three graphs below. Notice how the graph on the left is connected, but it does contain a cycle. For example, if we start at this vertex here, we can form a path to return back to this vertex. We can go down, right, and back up. The graph is not a tree because, while it is connected, there is a cycle. The graph is not a forest because it's connected and it also has a cycle. Looking at the next graph, the graph is connected and there are no cycles and therefore the graph is a tree. It's not a forest because it's not a disconnected graph. And then finally on the right, Notice how we have a disjoint collection of trees or a disconnected graph with no cycles. So it's not a tree because it's not connected, but it is a forest because it's disconnected and has no cycles. So now that we know a tree is a connected graph with no cycles, is there anything else that we can say? It would be nice to have other equivalent conditions for a graph to be a tree. That is, we would like to know whether there are any graph theoretic properties that all trees have and perhaps even that only trees have. To get a feel for the sort of things we can say, we will consider three propositions and a corollary about trees. If you want to see the proofs of the three propositions, please refer to the textbook. And below we have three more graphs of trees. Notice all graphs are connected and contain no cycles. The first proposition gives an alternate definition for a tree. And the proposition is, a graph T is a tree if and only if between every pair of distinct vertices of T, there is a unique path. Next we have a corollary. A graph F is a forest if and only if between any pair of vertices in F, there is at most one path. Remember at most means zero or one path. The next proposition is that any tree with at least two vertices has at least two vertices of degree one. And finally, the last proposition, let T be a tree with V vertices and E edges, then E the number of edges is equal to V the number of vertices minus one. If you look at the graph of the tree below, notice how the graph contains seven vertices and seven minus one is six and there are six edges in the graph of the tree. So I would encourage you to think about these propositions and take a look at the proofs in the textbook. I hope you found this helpful.